Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be reading 1 Timothy chapter 2. Instructions for the Church, Instructions on Worship. I urge then, first of all, the petition, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all the authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God, our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For these, for there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Jesus Christ, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. This has now been witnessed to all the proper time. And for this purpose, I was anointed a herald and an apostle. I am telling the truth. I am not lying and a true and faithful teacher of the Gentiles. Therefore, I want the men everywhere to pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or disputing. I also want the women to dress modestly with decency and propriety adorning themselves, not with elaborate hairstyles, gold or pearls or expensive clothes, but with good deeds appropriate for women who profess to worship God. A woman should learn in quietness and full submission. I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over a man. She must be quiet. For Adam was formed first, then Eve, and Adam was not the one who that was deceived. It was the woman who was deceived and became a sinner. But women will be saved through childbearing if they continue in faith, love, and holiness with propriety. So these verses are outlining um, the instructions to the church. Uh, This is the church during those days. Uh, This is what they followed. Um, Now there are some changes that have been made and I won't go into details or kind of take a side on on if it's right or wrong uh, because I believe that people have the right to choose what they believe. Uh, This is something that's not a salvational issue as far as do we let women uh, be the head of the church or not. Um, I'm not gonna basically state my opinion on it I'm just reading it from God's word so that you can hear what the Bible says. Uh, But each church, that is up to you to decide what you want to do with that. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will read chapter one next.